a new week and we're going to do a weekly vlog today because this week is quite exciting because I am starting my new job role in my church on Wednesday. I've got my induction in the morning so I'll talk a bit about that later in the week and, and when I know what exactly it is that everything's going to be. Um, but for today it is Monday and I've just dropped Sophia off at nursery. It was a tough one. She had such a big meltdown. I'm actually thinking about taking her out of nursery on a Monday now that I am home because I, she just was so upset. She really didn't want to go. And I understand, you know, she's seeing me home with Mimi now. And she was in the nursery on a Monday because I was working that day, but now I'm not. So what's the point in her being there? So I'm going to have a conversation. I'm going to have a conversation about that with Joe, my husband. Oh, and if you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Sarah. I am a newly, I don't know, a newly, I was going to say qualified homemaker, but I am, I am a new homemaker. I have left my job as a teacher to be home more with my children and also to work for my church. I, I've gone through that in previous videos, so I'll link those below. This is the first full week of the year where we're in our new routine. Obviously last week, this time last week, it was New Year's Day, which is crazy. It feels like it's been about two or three weeks already. Let me show you my dog. She's just jumping up at me wanting attention. Here we go. This is Rosie, star of the show. It's Monday. The house is a disaster. A full disaster after the weekend. I don't know if anybody else is home gets like that over the weekend when everybody's home. You and Mimi in the background singing away. Today's mission is to sort the house out. I also want to go for a walk into the park, but it is freezing. But we're going to do that soon to get that out of the way and get my hour in outside. I fell behind at the weekend in the hours outside challenge, so I've got to try and make up for it. And then we're just going to potter about and get our life back on track today. Tell you everything I've seen, the friends I've made, and then you tell me how you've been. Back in my little vlogging spot, you're on the window ledge in the bathroom, in the kitchen. Uh, we've been out for a walk. My auntie came as well for a cup of tea, so I had a nice morning, but I am really tired. It is time of the month, and I'm just my energy levels are so low. So I think this afternoon I'm just gonna chill for a bit. I managed to clean the downstairs except for finishing the hoovering because the hoover cut out, so that's been charging. So I'll do that later, but I've cleaned all the downstairs, so that is done. I've just got to tidy up after lunch. And then we went for a walk. So we have been outside, but it is absolutely bitter out there. It's really cold. I've just put Mimi down to bed and I found this hot chocolate sachet that they got from nursery. Now, I know it might seem mean taking the girls hot chocolate, but they won't have this. They've tried hot chocolate before and they don't like it. So I'm gonna have it because I do like it. I think it's got marshmallows in. So I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna sit for a little bit and just read my book and just enjoy the silence because it's also been quite a chaotic morning. Like I said this morning, Sophia did not want to go to nursery and then this, just now Mimi has been like whinging and whining because she was tired and cold and hungry. So I'm just ready for some peace and quiet. two hours I felt so tired I actually nodded off for a bit I was so warm and cozy I read a couple of chapters of my book and then Rosie was on me and we just had a little nap and then I woke up decided to make a cup of tea and I watched an episode of Silent Witness because I can it's winter it's cold I'm on my period and we're just having a slow day but I am going to get up now and fold some washing oh hello Rosie because Sophia and Joe will be home 
probably within the next hour so the madness will start again so I'm just gonna try and get moving but I'm just feeling really sluggish today good morning well it's morning for me it's Tuesday it's still dark outside it is seven o'clock and the girls are surprisingly still asleep I'm dressed and ready for the gym that's joke I'm ready if you can hear that today I'm going to drop the girls off at nursery and then I've got to come home because the plumber's coming to fix the boiler. But I thought I'd get in my gym gear anyway. Last week I went straight to the gym after dropping the girls off, but I thought I'll get in my gym gear, I'll just come home, I'll do a bit of work for a bit. I've got a video to edit for Thursday. And then when he's done, I'll just go straight to the gym. So yeah, that's why I'm dressed in my gym gear already. About to have some breakfast. Got a big to-do list, but don't worry, it's not like a, I'm not stressed about it. I know when people post those big to-do lists of being a content creator and they're like, oh, that's nothing. Um, but anyway, I want to work-wise, I've got to do a voiceover or finish the voiceover for Thursday's videos, do the thumbnail, upload it, schedule it, all of that. And then I've got to refilm a brand deal clip because they wanted me in, I filmed it in one jumper and then they asked for an edit and I did it in like the whole thing again in a different jumper, but they want it back in the original jumper. So I've got to do that. And then I've got some like paid sounds to do. There's a few today. So yeah, it's going to be a good day. I want to get outside for a walk at some point as well to get my hour in. I might take Rosie on a nice long walk. Do you know what I might even do? I might even take her later in the day to the beach and do like an hour's walk later this afternoon and then go straight to pick the girls up from nursery. So I may do that once all my work's done. And that's it. I'm going to have some breakfast now. I'm going to have a yoghurt today and yoghurt, banana and honey, I think, to fuel me because we ran out of my normal cereal and I don't want to have the girls. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm going to eat. We finally have working heating. I am so happy because I am so cold, but I'm going to head to the gym now because the plumber's gone. I actually had a very productive hour while he was here. I have been sat here on my laptop finishing or doing a bit more work towards the video that has just gone up on Thursday at Homemaker's Heart. And I'm really pleased with it. So far, I've just got to finish off a little bit more of the voiceover and then, yeah, I'm, I'm, I really like this video. Anyway, I'm going to head to the gym and warm up because it's so cold. Well, my work is done for the day, so I'm going to head out on a walk with Rosie but I really fancy going to the beach so I'm gonna drive to the seaside so basically where I live I live by the sea but I live the opposite end so it takes about 25 minutes for me to get there to go like I live sort of on the countryside end in a little village just outside of the main town and then I have to go like all the way through town through to the other end so it I do live here but it's it's a bit of a trek still for like a day-to-day -day thing so I don't always go, but I really want to go. I love it. I really love being there. So I'm going to take Rosie and then I also need to pop to Aldi and then I'm going to pick up the girls. So that's kind of the next few hours of my life. But I'm going to bring you along on the walk because I think it's going to be nice. Cold, but it should be nice. I'm going to share as well while I'm here some trainers by a brand called Fitfill. I've had shoes from them before. They gifted me last year and they gifted me some a few months ago now, just before I took my big break, which is why I've not really shared them, but they're really comfortable. I've had two pairs of like walking shoes from them and then two pairs of trainers and some sandals. They're really generous. So these are the ones I'm going to wear today. They're just really nice, comfortable, lightweight walking shoes. But what I like is that they are like fashionable and look nice so although they're comfortable and they're kind of designed for walking and like exercise they do running shoes they do squash shoes um, joe got some squash shoes when he was playing squash so i'm gonna leave those linked below and they may have a discount for you i will double check if they do i'm gonna leave them linked definitely check them out they're also really quick shipping as well so i would definitely highly highly recommend fitville Don't want to sleep tonight at all Just want to watch them stars fall But you don't want to try to make up dreams Just to be seen I want to lay here beside you Oh quiet Fire breath and open sky He 
it's not oh, that was so whew, windy and blustery and wonderful and i loved it we stopped for a coffee it wasn't a very nice coffee to be honest but we stopped for a coffee it was nice to support a little local hut where we um in the summer when we stay at the beach cabin that we stay at which is in this area we walk and we always get a coffee at that place so it's nice to support them in winter bless this poor bloke he was in there freezing he had a little blow heater that wasn't really working but yeah it was lovely we did about 42 minutes i think it said so i'm gonna go pick the girls and i might pick the girls up first and then go to aldi just because i think by the time i get back across through town it'll be gone four o'clock and i don't really like picking them up later than four if i can help it so <sighs> Let's go do that but that was such a lovely way to get my outside time in today good morning well, my morning it is i can't talk it is wednesday morning everyone else is still asleep it's just me and rosie up this is how we spend our morning so i get up before everybody else well i like to get up before everybody else we went through a phase where the girls were getting up with me which was frustrating because I'm not the best mum unless I get a little bit of time to myself first thing in the morning. I just find that if I wake up and the girls are up immediately and like demanding things and I have to be in mum mode straight away, I'm so grouchy and snappy. But what I really like to do is get up, I have my coffee, I like to read my Bible. So this is my Bible in one year. It's January 10th, so I'm up to date. I will leave this linked and I'll, this is my daily planner, which I like to fill in. And then I'll be honest, I, I used to just sit and watch YouTube, but I'm being really into reading at the minute. So I'm reading a book at the moment. So this is my second book of the year. So I'm doing well. I'm trying to read 24 books this year. But anyway, all of that is irrelevant because today it is my induction at church. So I am very excited about that. I'm going to drop Amelia off at my mother-in-law's. I wouldn't normally work for church on a Wednesday. I've, I've said that I'll do it on a Tuesday because both girls are in nursery then. Um, Wednesday will be my supply teaching day if I get any work on that day but I'm still finishing off the registration process for that. But normally my mum would have Amelia on a Wednesday. However, she's still travelling the world. She's currently in New Zealand. They'll be back at the end of the month. Um, so it's too early. It's too early to think. I feel like the camera is shaking. I'm sorry if it is, but hand, my hands are a bit shaky. My mother-in-law's having Amelia, so I'm dropping her off and then I'm going to drop Sophia off at nursery because it's her usual nursery day. And then I've got my induction. I think it's just for the morning and I'm not exactly sure what it will entail. I will find out. I'm hoping I can get like the social media passwords and the Canva login and all the logins that I'll need because I think I'm mainly going to be doing like the social media stuff and maybe a bit of like the event stuff and then there'll be other bits as well. So the person whose job I'm sort of taking over, although I'm going to, you know, shape it into what God calls me to shape it into, um, he's going to be there as well because they're moving to South Africa. So he's going to be there to like hand over things. So hopefully he'll go through some of the like routinely things I need to do. I don't really know. I don't really know. I'm hoping there'll be maybe like the contract and everything. We'll see, but I'm excited. I'm ready. This is my outfit. Jeans, I'll just wear trainers with it. Very casual, I've got my bag. <laughs> it's heavy. I wasn't sure what to bring. I'm not gonna bring my laptop today because it's just big. So I have brought my iPad instead. I've got my iPad. Ooh, put that there. So I've got my iPad. Just in case I need to like log on to anything and it's easier than on my phone. My mum got me this notepad for Christmas, so I thought this would be a good one to have to write things down in. This is my work notepad. I've got my diary, our old school, I like a Firefax. I tab it and everything. <laughs> oh, I'm such a stationary geek. Got my purse, and then I've just got like my phone, pen, and my water bottle. I think that's everything I'll need. Um yeah, so that's it. I'm all ready. Just got to get the girls ready now. I am home from my induction. I am so cold because um, for a good chunk of it, we were sat in the main church building going through everything and the heating wasn't on because it's not on every day. It's a big, big place to heat. But basically, I just was sat freezing. Um, but it was really good. 
we I started off by going through like my contract and just some bits and bobs what my job role will be exactly so that's really good I've kind of got a list of duties to start with and then it'll be a sort of anything else as well um, and then the person Pete whose job I'm sort of sort of taking over he went through everything logins and passwords and all of that and how sort of he does stuff the processes so yeah I'm officially employed by my church um, it feels great. I've got a laptop and yeah, did it. All done. But I'm so cold. I've just, I need to warm up before I go pick Mimi up. And um, I think I'm going to walk around as well because I don't know how else I'm going to get my time outside. In. So I'm going to walk around with the push chair and then walk back. She just lives in the same village as us. And then um, maybe do a dog walk late, later. I'm just going to process something. I might talk about this more later, but I think I just need to warm up eat some food and then like process all the information that i got because it was a lot a lot to take in so i've had a little bit of time to like chill and warm up and process everything and it was a really great morning it was just nice and chill we chatted through my contract chatted through my job specification so it was great because i got like a clearer picture of what i'm going to be doing and then i sat with pete and just went through all of the like technical side bits and logging on and all of that so it's something that I'll kind of do over the next few weeks so I'm going to be starting next week and I picked like a couple of bits to take over from Pete immediately and then there's bits that I'll kind of learn as I go and he's not actually going yet for a few weeks so I've got a bit of time to like have a crossover but yeah it was great um feeling good about that I've also just finished sending off a document to the supply agency that I'm with because that's going to be another stream of my income and then I also just finished up a brand deal and I got paid for that actually as well that just came through so yeah although I'm not going to be getting one giant source of income I'll be getting little bits and I'm just feeling really good about it all and ultimately it's it's more flexible like even with the church job it's flexible I can do a bit during Mimi's nap time on a Monday and then I'll do it on Tuesday so I don't have to do like all of my seven hours in one day which works much better for me and also would work better for the bits that I need doing in the week for the job role so that will work well what I think I'm going to do now is I've just got the homeschooling book out. I did show this on a video last week, so I'll leave this linked, but it's a great planner if you're homeschooling. Or, I mean, I'm not like properly homeschooling. I've said it before. I don't want people to think that I'm like a full-time homeschooling mom. I'm not. I basically just like to have more organized activities for when we're at home. And the teacher in me likes to have like a learning focus and a theme. It just helps. It helps with our household. It helps with us. So although the girls are at nursery and Sophia's at nursery for three days a week, this just helps. So I'm just going to go through it. What I planned last week, I'll probably look at planning next week's as well. Wednesday afternoon is a good day to do that. I kind of plan from Wednesday and then I plan like all of next week. So like from Monday to Friday for next week. So I've got it there and done. So I'm just gonna go through that and then Mimi will probably be waking up soon. Okay, I'll just show you the homeschooling bits I've got for tomorrow. This is the Bible that we use, the beginner's Bible. So we're gonna just go through Adam and Eve. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna do some bits from this busy book which I got from Amazon, I think. So I'll leave it linked. Amazon or TikTok, I can't remember. But it's really great. It comes with like all different things. So on one side, it's all like tactile bits. And then on the other side, it's like dry erased whiteboard things. So I think tomorrow I'm going to do, um, where is it? Numbers for Sophia. And what else did I say? The numbers. And then I'm going to, look at some of her phase one sounds and see which ones she knows and then I can kind of use that to help with future planning and there's a CBB's spelling game that we're going to play it's just like a puzzle that you have to match it up together and then I'm going to do the name maps again which I showed you in a previous video so and um, there's Sophia's somewhere there we go as you can see these get a lot of love they love these and then we're at our toddler group oh and numbers as well I'm gonna just get her to start practicing numbers we did do number one actually so i might move on to number two because then next week we're going to specifically look at numbers one and two i think so i might get this is mainly for sophia mimi will probably just play on the floor or something so we're going to do those i've got all that ready i'm going to have a cup of tea read a bit of my book because mimi will definitely be awake soon 
and then when she's awake I think I might go on a walk with her. believe we're nearly at the end of the week we've had a nice morning the girls are just watching a bit of pepper while i pack the baby bag because we're about to head to our toddler group that we go to every week it's run at my church so that's really fun and then after that we're going out for lunch today so my mum has a twin sister linda hello linda because she watches these videos and she has another sister jane who lives out of town about 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes away. So like once a month she comes over and sometimes we go out to this like restauranty place. It's very chill, very casual, but they do a nice carvery and they've recently refurbished the kids bit. So I'm excited to see that. So we're heading there after toddler group. Normally my mum would come, but they're away. They're in New Zealand still. So yeah, we're going there. It's going to be a nice day. Um, I probably won't film anything at the toddler group, but I'm going to try and film the restaurant we go to. So I'll see you later. And you're having fun, girls. Mummy, would you like to come join us? Would I like to join you? Would you like to come join us? Can I fit? Happy Friday! The girls are just sat practicing right to their names. I mean, Mimi's just sort of scribbling, but you know, it's all mark making. I'm not really bothered if she writes her name or not, but Sophia's doing ever so well. They don't have to scribble, Mimi. Brilliant, darling. And these mats, I've mentioned them before, they're from an Instagram shop, My Little Learner. It's a lady who does it all herself, so a small shop, very good. Absolutely so pleased with these mats, and Mimi's just living her best life. And we've also been looking at Adam and Eve, so Sophia has coloured in Eve and had a go at writing it. Clever oh class. And I've, just, I've just done a bit of a phonics Mommy. assessment with her as well. Something I've started doing, they're just I sat colouring now. Pombes. No, no more pombes. You could have um, some raisins. Yeah. 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 The girls are just happily colouring, so I just thought I would show you this, which is, it's a scrapbook, and I thought last year I would do scrapbooking and I didn't. But you're not colouring now Mimi's just sat having her snack um, but what I've started to do is to use it to like document Sophia's learning things that we do so some are from nursery some are bits that we've done and yeah just a document so here are some like Christmas colouring that she did um, from nursery and then this is what we did last week. I, I haven't been doing it like every week, but this from now on I want to do it every week. So is that mine or Mimi's? Um, this is yours, darling. Oh. Uh, Mimi doesn't really do a lot of these things, so when she's three, I'll probably start one for her as well. But yeah, I'm just gonna glue in the Eve and just write um what we've done basically. Mummy. Yeah. If I cut out this, will you get very cross with me? No. I'm back in the same spot. I have moved, but my friend came round, so we were chatting for quite a while, and then it's been a bit of a full-on day with the girls because they're both quite tired. Sophia especially so, because she was up in the night, and we went outside for a bit and like played and. We had lunch and yeah it's just been like a, a busy a busy day so I'm having a bit of peace now I'm just about to sit and do some work for a bit but I thought I would end this video here I think I'm just going to film like Monday to Friday I do like to have Saturdays off all sort of social media slash work and then Sundays I like to take slower so I don't really want to have to like do any filming then but I hope you enjoyed this week in my life this weekly vlog and next week I'm like fully starting my church role so it'll be interesting to see how that goes and yeah thanks for sticking with me if you did like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos then hit the subscribe button and if you turn on the little bell then it'll give you a notification when I do post which at the moment is Sunday Mondays and Thursdays. Thank you for watching, leave a friendly comment and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.